I've got a question from one of my subscribers about time. How long does it take to actually make a helmet like this? I'm gonna time myself to see how long it takes to cut two of these out and get them to this particular stage. Let's get over to the bench.
So now that we've got the shape cut out, I just want to show you a couple ways to dish it out. I'm going to use this rawhide mallet, but I could use any sort of hammer. It doesn't matter as long as it's heavy enough to actually push the metal down. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to make this into a bit of a bowl shape. And you can do that in a couple ways. Obviously one way is to use a sand filled leather bag. I've got an old canvas one that I've ripped a hole in at some point and burned and you know that one I don't use very much anymore but it's kicking around in case I need it. The leather one's nice. The problem is you have to deburr all your edges before you use your leather bag otherwise you will rip your bag. So I typically don't use those for these rough cut things. I'll use a dishing stump. This is a nice big tall log that's a good height and it's been carved out and used quite a lot to, to do a shallow dish. But one of the very first things I ever made for myself as an armorer was this uh, bottom of a, like an oxygen tank or an acetylene tank. And I found a couple that had this recess in it. So I cut the tanks off, welded a plate in, and welded a big nut in here. And then I, when I built this table, I have this rubber pad sitting on here, but this, this stud, this threaded stud is basically sticking out of the table and welded on. So I can just take this empty cylinder bottom and pop it onto here and then without cross threading it you can just spin it on and the rubber pad allows me to lock it down into position so it doesn't even spin and this is a sand filled table so it's pretty heavy it doesn't move around very much it's got a quarter inch plate on top but this was one of the very first dishing, dishing pieces that I made for myself and I love it. I use it quite often. You could even use a big ball like a, whatever this is off of. You know, we find weird things every once in a while and you could just smash that down. But honestly, it's not that much work to get something like this done. And this is quite deep. I am not going to recess this all the way into that because it would be way too shaped. So I'm gonna do really just one pass on this, starting at the outside and working my way in, and, and it'll start to fold up a little bit. You'll see I can correct those wrinkles really easily, and it doesn't take very long at all to do this. So that's eight hammer blows, and you can already see that this has got quite a bit of shape going. There's another eight down that side, and you can see it just wrinkles it a little bit, but that's not a big deal. And just do the bottom. And you can see how even this is. There's like a nice little triangle in the center. This part's been bouged quite a bit. Now we're just gonna roll into the middle. And you gotta be careful of these points that they're not sticking up and hitting your hammer. So you always wanna turn it so you're, you're hitting inside of those points. And just smack down these parts as they jump up. So most of the shape is already there. Now we're just gonna clean it up a little bit. So just roll it down into the bottom of that dish. You get a feel, you, you learn to feel how much curve is enough for each piece. And we're watching to see that these lines, which were curved when they started, are now becoming a straight line as they, they come into the profile that we want. So as this curves around, that curved edge becomes a straight line.
pretty well it. Now I'm just going to go over the ball steak and finish it off. Two helmet quarters. 